To most people, this would be considered a ditch, a pond, or even a swamp. But to our AP Environmental Science students here at Thurston, this isn't just their yearly project. It's a huge step in a new way of learning science. The newest addition to the AP classes at Thurston High School is the AP Environmental Science class. Their yearly project entitled Project Rain Garden is the demolition of the invasive species of Phragmites and the restoration of the marsh between their main building and their administration building. Their plan is to convert the area into a rain garden and retention pond. The AP Environmental Science class is the first ever class at Thurston to start to develop the new style of learning that is starting to be adapted by many science classes around the country. This science concept is called the Next Generation Science Standards, or NGSS for short. NGSS is a new approach on standard science curriculum. It is a place-based and project-based learning system where students are in control of the course project based on what they would like to address. The concept is organized in several practices, discipline, and cross-cutting concepts based on grade level designed to be useful in advanced science levels such as college and careers. More information can be seen at nextgenscience.org. Um, in past science classes, when we've just sat around and learned at our desks or just tried to memorize facts, I always kind of found it hard to, like, story problems were always hard for me and trying to figure out how to do things. So with this new program where we actually get to go outside and take measurements ourselves and figure out what we're trying to do with Miss Hero rather than her just telling us how to do it has really helped me in like life in just trying to like build those problem solving skills that I know I'm going to need later. It definitely makes me less grade oriented. I focus more on the actual material than I do just making sure I have my grade set and it definitely makes me focus more on um, getting to know the stuff more than just memorizing it. Michigan Science Teacher of the Year recipient, Holly Hero, conducts the environmental science class here at Thurston with strong regard to the NGSS standards. Along with the ongoing yearly project, for assignments, the AP environmental class is introduced to an environmental problem and challenged to figure out a solution. A lot of times it's super frustrating when you get these problems because you're like, I don't know anything about this. I don't really know how to go forth and do it. But you are forced to really dig in, think about what is necessary to finding the solution. And I think it helps a lot because you start to think in different sorts of ways than if you were just reading it out of a textbook. And that kind of thinking is going to have to apply to future careers. So I think getting an idea of how that process works in high school is going to really be beneficial when it comes to a university education. Not only is this program designed to benefit students in university settings in the future, the Next Generation Science Standards also greatly benefit students on the AP exam as well. Um, it was really impressive to me that the project that we came up with on our own was a direct parallel to some of the tracks that they want us to follow on the, in the AP curriculum. Although the transition into the next generation science standards will be slightly difficult for most teachers and students, the positives greatly outweigh the negative. Once a new way of learning science has spread to the entire country, we, as a nation, will start to see much higher test scores in advanced level science classes in high school and college. This is because students will retain information at much higher rates than before. This will all be because of NGSS, which is a happier and more efficient way of learning science.